So I'm going to be honest and say I was kind of bored through most of the episode of Riverdale. I was, I don't know really if I was expecting a lot because I didn't like the finale last year. I thought it was just kind of okay. I'm just being totally honest here. So I didn't have like super high expectations, but to be honest, again, as always, the ending like totally shocked me. At first I was like, oh, they brought back Grundy because a lot of people asked about her so many times last season. So many people wanted to see her again. And I kind of thought they would bring her back. Um, and I was like, okay, did she just kiss another student to kind of look like Jason Blossom? I don't know, it was just creepy. But then the next thing was someone killed her and I'm like, who? would want to kill her and it definitely looked like the same guy who shot Archie's dad but that ending definitely made me gasp and I was like okay Riverdale like this is some good stuff even though I was a little sad she was killed because I just wanted more drama from her because that was like the only thing that intrigued me um but I think I personally assumed that Fred was going to survive I mean we knew he had been shot in the finale and I didn't really like how they handled that because I think you know when they showed that scene it looked like Archie stepped in the way and maybe he got shot, but then they immediately revealed that it was his dad. And I think they should have just left it as a big cliffhanger, like who got shot. But we knew it wasn't Archie. And I just feel like Luke Perry wasn't going to go anywhere. So I didn't think he was going to die, which we know that he didn't um, in this episode. So he'll definitely recover. But I don't know at this point who is this person. I don't know if it's going to be a person that we know who, you know, tried to kill him and who killed Grundy. I, I feel like it's the same person or if it's just an associate of someone that we know I mean they definitely tried to throw shade at Veronica's dad and this was the first episode the debut episode for Mark Consuelos who plays Veronica's dad um and I've always said that Veronica's mom is like the main villain here even though everyone wants to make her dad seem to be the villain but we never knew him or met him or anything until now so we're going to get a chance to see what he's really like this season um but I don't have a ton more to say about the episode because like I said for me personally I guess I just wasn't really into it because I did not really like the reveal of who killed Jason. I thought that was pretty predictable and silly and I don't like it when it's like a teen centric show and adults are like the villains. I know what you want to know from me is who do I think is this person who killed Grundy and who is the shooter of um, Archie's dad and again I just don't know because we don't know a ton of the adults I mean there's a lot of suspicion surrounding the serpents um, but I don't know a lot of those people by name and we know it's not Jughead's dad even though I don't suspect him because he was in jail at the time um, so you know I don't know we there are some other adults in the show like the sheriff and I guess some people associated with the school I can't really remember what who uh, who of the adults we've met that it could be um, definitely um, the, I want to call her Lily, but, um, not Lily, who is the, I can't, I'm like, my mind is going blank, Betty, Betty's dad is another adult male, so, I don't know, I mean, I'm just curious, I haven't looked around on message boards or anywhere to see who people are thinking is this person, but let me know what you think below. So anyway, I will be covering all of season two of Riverdale, I covered all of season one, there's a playlist on my channel if you want to watch it, um, and I'm pretty excited now because I love the ending and that was a shock and I'm really happy that they went there with that. But leave your guesses down below about who you think is involved in these shootings. If you enjoy my videos on Riverdale and shows like this, give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and then I have something really, really special planned for you guys. So hope you're having a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.